Show. All right, y'all, Rick's Mind the Morning Show. Ten minutes after the hour, we got your friend Paige. Good morning. Good morning, Ricky, and good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. I'm Eva Marcel, and here are your top news stories. So about... Three out of four Americans will soon be staying at home. Arizona, Maryland, and Virginia were the latest states to issue a shelter-in-place order due to the coronavirus outbreak. As of late yesterday, there are more than 770,000 coronavirus cases worldwide, and 20% of those are right here in the U.S. That's 157,000 people. President Trump says that there are plenty of coronavirus test kits for Americans, but governors of at least three states says that that is, in fact, not the case. When pressed about the issue, Trump lashed out at reporters. Very typical. A new model cited by the White House says that 82,000 people could die from the coronavirus by August, even with social distancing. The current number of deaths is over 4,700 right now. And today is Equal Pay Day. March 31st marks how far into a year a woman must work in order to earn what men earned the previous year. Hmm. All righty, that was a quick look at your headline news. For more on what's trending, log on to the Ricky Smiley Morning Show.com. Brock T was popping in sports, my brother. What's going on, Eva? I'm about to told you. NCAA approves extra year of eligibility for all student athletes in spring sports whose seasons were canceled because of the coronavirus pandemic. This includes baseball, softball, tennis, golf, outdoor track and field, lacrosse, and volleyball. Uh, shout out to Shaq, man. Big Shaquille O'Neal. He addresses his appearance on the Netflix Tiger King documentary series, uh, Oklahoma Ranch, owned by a guy named Joe Exotic, who was sentenced to 22 years in prison after being found guilty of multiple charges, including murder, plot for hire, and uh, illegal selling of tiger cubs. Shaq pretty much said, listen, yeah, I did visit because he loves white tigers. And he donated money to help feed those tigers. But he's not friends with Joe Exotic. He stopped going to the ranch when he found out all this best, all this stuff was going on. And that was that. It is what it is. Last but not least, man, don't forget to continue to vote for your favorite breakfast cereals. First round matchups is going down right now for Munch Madness Tournament of Champions. Your votes will determine which cereals move to the Sweet 16, which will be announced this Friday. So go vote right now at MunchMadness.com. Spell madness with two Ds. Or you can go to RickySmileyMorningShow.com. There it is, player. What's up, Dad? Get ready. All right, y'all. I was hoping this story wasn't true, but you know what? It's true, honey. Actor Miguel Nunez Jr., y'all, he was arrested for shoplifting. Now, they're saying, y'all, no. Miguel, yes, he was shopping even at Ralph's. He was Ralph's. just a Juana man. He was a Juana man, baby. They say <laughs> Miguel was at Ralph's Supermarket in Los Angeles. They say when he was the credit card was declined on a $200 sale in a self-checkout. Uh. Now, they said instead of using another credit card, Miguel said, the hell with that, and he left the store without paying, honey. And they say when he returned a few days later, they say, honey, he was not allowed to enter the store, and the police arrested him. They put no, him in jail. Gary. Yes, yes, they said, honey, they said, down to LAPD, honey, are not arresting anyone for minor offenses during the corona pandemic. But they said Miguel was given a citation and allowed to leave. They say it's still considered as an arrest. Now, is it that bad? I mean, that people, you, you know, can't he still it. fool Gary. You can't. But he said the that. line was too long. He said even the line was too long and he wasn't waiting. Yeah, so that, all that coronavirus uh, going around or whatever. I walked out the grocery store too. I ain't even had no bags. <laughs> I'll pay him the date though. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, the same damn thing. Hand. Right. <laughs> oh my God. But I mean, it, uh, they say he could have used um, t- um, p- um, Cash App or something. They say he didn't just have Or could have went to the self checkout. Yeah, well, that's where he was at. That's where he was. See, that's His the best place to steal. That's yeah, the best place to steal is in Chicago. Oh, no, nah, them machines won't let you. You, oh, they you, sure have a, you have a better chance walking out of there with the cashier, but them doggone machines, they'll say, hey, put it in the item. Put That's it right. in the bag. <laughs> yes, they do. Put <laughs> that item in the bag. They <laughs> they oh, I didn't try that, buddy. Me too. <laughs> they do, sir. They what they say, Ricky? Put the item in the bag. Put the item in the bag. <laughs> yes, baby. That could be like, honey, get you in there, honey. So he decided he wanted to walk on out, y'all. So, and he's on a new show. Y'all, I mean, on um, family business, so I mean, BET's family oh, business to be exact. Oh, man. Folks, we just got to lift him up, honey. All right, y'all, the color of the day, honey, is one of my favorite spring colors. My color of the day, y'all, is fresh air. On the high end, you say fresh air, and on the low, you say beautiful light blue. That's your color for the day, y'all. And up next, honey, Brad got your hot spot. Up next, y'all, on Ricky Smiley Morning Show. 